Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Hey, so today is Sunday. I'm off today. I'm eating a Jolly Rancho. My favorite. Um, one of my favorite candies. So, I'm enjoying my new place. I want to say this is our second week. Well, it's a new month and we moved in July the 20th. So, yeah, we've been here like two weeks now. So, let me update y'all on the ladies. All fucking ready, okay? Anybody knows me, I'm always ordering shit, right? I update everything. So, I ordered me some packages from Amazon. Somebody stole my shit all fucking ready. Apparently, they have me fucked up in this building. Because this is why I don't like sharing shit. Now y'all see. You know what? Let me rephrase that. Whether you're sharing things or not, you still have porch pirates. You still have people that, that have whole houses. They get their items stolen also. But I still don't like sharing shit. But anyway, so I'm loving my new place. You know, I say I'm in an apartment, y'all. So this is kind of new for me. I haven't stayed in an apartment since I had maybe one child. That was forever ago, right? And they weren't stealing your shit. Anyway. So, yeah. Somebody stole one of my packages already. So, you know, Amazon always updates you when it's been delivered. They send you a picture. So, I'm like, okay. So, I, you know, I text HUV. I'm like, hey, you know, the packages came. They put them in the back. Okay, cool. That's fine. So he gets home and he said, well, no, it's only one package back here. You sure? I'm like, I just sent you the picture with the two packages on there. Really? So somebody stole my shit already. And frankly, I'm fucking pissed about it. So actually, I saw so I called Amazon, told them what happened and they sent the replacement. So now I had to wait on replacements, which... I'm glad I was off today because my replacements just came and I had to sign for them, which is fine because actually I'm the person who ordered them and I'm glad I was here to actually sign for them. This was in one of the packages from yesterday that I ordered. It's so funny because I ordered a smart Wi-Fi doorbell camera. I ordered this because I don't know these people. You know, this is not, it's not a bigger problem. We have like, let's see, one, two... I think maybe like three floors, uh, two units, three floors, something like that. So, be that as it may, it's still an apartment. And you have to, you know, share your space. You have to share, like, your, you have your side where you can store your shit at. It's only one washer, one dryer here that everybody has to share. And y'all know me, I used to have my own shit. My own washer, my own everything. I don't like sharing shit. And because people are not clean. And I know I'm clean, and people are not clean, so it is what it is. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm like that. I'm just before COVID, I've always been a neat freak, a clean person. And everybody not clean, like you and me maybe. So no, it's some nasty people around here, or around you, or out here. Period. Anyway, so the thing is, you knew when you took my shit, the package wasn't yours. You knew it didn't belong to you. When you took my shit. So H2B claimed. He said he knocked on a few doors. To ask you know hey A B C D. It, it was glad that he got the shit. Because if it was me. Everybody in here would have got a knock on the door. And a rude awakening. Like okay y'all don't know me. But clearly y'all finna know me. I don't play about my, about my packages. Because I don't bother nobody else's shit. And I don't expect nobody to bother my shit. And frankly I'm heated about the shit. Because the shit I ordered, you know, was the shit I ordered. And I'm just thankful that Amazon trusts me enough and they know I'm not on no scamming bullshit. I've been an I've been Amazon Prime member for too long and too many years to be on some bullshit. So they sent the shit back out. Like I said, I had to sign for it this time. So this was in the shit from yesterday that was stolen. The damn Wi-Fi camera and um, my toe rings that I ordered and... Uh, um. A towel rack for our bathroom. We, and then we had a, another a big package, which we got that one. Which is a blanket ladder that I also ordered for our blankets and stuff. Because we don't have like a, um, we don't have like a, um, 
a linen class or anything like that here. So we, we got to make do. So I just want at least want everything to be cute and organized. So I ordered like a, 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 a blanket ladder to hold like all our blankets and sheets and stuff. So I ordered that. That, we got that. But the other items that was in the package, the box, we they took that. So now I got to wait till tomorrow to get my cute little sew rings that I ordered. Oh, but order me some more sew rings. Order me some more sew rings that I ordered. They coming tomorrow. Now, tomorrow I won't be here because I'm going to get my hair did in the morning. And then I have to go to work that afternoon. But when they say they deliver or whatever, I don't, it's probably going to be in a little small box. But we have cameras up now. So let them try that bullshit again. So when that happened, H2D, he went and put some cameras up anyway. So he got one face in the back. I'm whispering because I'm sitting in my um, front room. And I don't want people to hear me. But we got one face in the back where our shit was stolen from and then one face in the front and now we're gonna have this because i want to do i want to do a bill any fucking way so i can see people that's coming that that's for me that's coming on the porch and ring the doorbell in case they do leave a package outside they can ring the doorbell and i can see them and say just set it down you know but i, I had ordered this anyway i don't know where he got them cameras from he, he he moved fast he went and got them cameras yesterday when this shit happened all i know is when i came home he had the shit hooked up so in the back in the front. So let them try that bullshit again. And my thing is, people that steal, what if somebody catches you? Like, bro, like, what if I was here? That's what's scary about the bullshit because not only do you have too much time on your hands, you fucking knowing somebody's scheduling already. He be back and forth. He might come, you know, come home, take a break, because he he, do, he does that. Me, I'm gone. When I'm gone, I'm gone. I'm at my job eight hours. It's no coming home, taking no breaks, none of that shit. When I'm gone, I'm I'm really gone. I don't be here when unless you know I'm off work or before work or not even not even then. You know, like I said, tomorrow I have to leave out here early. Tomorrow I have an appointment before I go to work. So excuse how I'm looking, y'all. It's all natural today, except the lashes, of course. My eyebrow is not beat. My hair is not done. This is all me. When I tell you, I've been hit on all this week. I've been looking crazy at work. Like, well, not like this. I've been wearing, like, little bandanas to work. Like, a little cute little headbands and stuff like that to work. But I've been looking crazy this last two weeks because I've been trying to find somebody to do my natural hair. What I wanted was my hair finger wing, but I wanted hair added because y'all can see I'm bald up here. That's no secret. I don't have any edges. So, and that's no secret. Just my hair been like been, been like this for years. So, anyway, I'm going to see a dermatologist because they think I might have something else going on because it just, it just really won't grow. It did years ago, but then I took some weave out and it just never grew back. So, I don't know if I damaged some shit, but it just never grew back. So, this is how it... it how it always been looking so anyway um and i hate it because i miss having braids and shit up here been having to style cute stuff instead of shit being back here and they spraying stuff to make it look full of the dark stuff you know but it is what it is so i'm really bald all this is really bald you can't grip any of this shit anyway it's just just how it is so but now anyway um so like i said i'll be leaving out here in the morning early in the morning because I have a hair appointment and that'll be some lemonade braids going to the side because I can't find anybody to do my hair so I'm like fuck it I'll just get some braids for now next month is my birthday I go to the goat to my normal goat and have her do my birthday do we just gonna be some weeds and shit like that but anyway but for now I'm just like fuck it because I've been looking crazy for two weeks because don't nobody seem to know how to fade away with hair at it they know how to finger wave, but not with hair. Anyway, go figure. But that's that's it where it's at. So this has been just me today. I washed my hair yesterday. I just took a shower. I worked out today, y'all. I worked out this morning. I, I was I was dragging. I hadn't worked out none last week. Cause we've been kind of busy, you know, trying to get everything moved, squared away, and we still have shit to move. We still got a lot of stuff to get over here, but we've been settling in. Moving little stuff, unpacking here and there, and then getting settled. And working on top of it. So, shit, we've been fucking tired. I know I have. Like, exhausted. 
So with that being said, and now this bullshit with my package. It's all good. So it won't happen again, I'll tell you that much. And now and now these motherfucking cameras up. It won't happen again. And I don't think they're gonna take it again no way. But like I said, they the right person was here because if I was here and my and my or I can't or I was off yesterday and I came here and my shit was gone. Everybody in this building would have got woke up, and I mean that shit. They would, I would have knocked on everybody's door. Like, hello, I'm new. Who took my shit? Did you see anything? Somebody in this bitch is a thief, and I hate a liar and I hate a thief. I don't take nobody's. I don't bother anybody's things at all. At all. I remember years ago, some shit came to my house by mistake. I didn't know who it was. I took it right back up and gave it to the per gave I took it, it wasn't it wasn't nobody on my street. I took it right to the UPS or whoever dropped it out to get up there. And everybody was like, why did you do that, girl? That should have been the free. I was like, no, because it's not my shit. And they probably waiting on this. This is not my lane. It's nobody on this block. Whoever I don't know, I don't know where they stay at. I'm just gonna take it back to the um the place that dropped it off. And I did that. Fuck that. You know? Mm-mm. So, I just wanted to chime in and say that because apparently they have me effed up, for real. And I don't appreciate it. And that lets me know, I, and I don't like feel like I'm being, like we're being watched either. Because we're new to the building, all lives on the new neighbors. I don't like that shit. I work too hard for my shit. And for you just coming, just pick it up and take it. You knew it wasn't yours. That, so I, I should have played some, some Thieves songs, some Thieves and some Stealing songs today and blast them. Like Thieves in the Temple tonight. Or just any type of Stealing song. So they can be, you know, so I can be sarcastic. Fucking Thieves in this bitch. I personally think it's the people that cross the hall. Because they seem to be loud, obnoxious, white, and rude. And it just seemed like they had too much time on their hands. From what I'm gathering, from what I've observed. Them motherfuckers get checks. And they stay in the house all damn day. They might leave and come back out. But, yeah. And then I had already done had um, to go to call the uh, landlord about them, about all their shit. Because they had their shit on my side. This is why I'm like sharing, y'all. They had they shit on my side of the of the of the little utility space. We have a space in the back where our furnaces are. They had all that shit on my side. They had all that shit blocking the door. It was a fucking fire hazard. You couldn't even get out the back door because they had all that shit blocking everywhere. So now they didn't finally moved all that shit. Then I come home. They got some more shit in front of my door. I politely pushed that shit back over there. Then when I seen him. I said, can you please move your things off the side of my door? Oh, I don't see anything. I said, in this utility room right here that we have to share, this is my side of the furnace. That's your side of the furnace. You have all your things over here. Oh, okay, I'll take care of it. Why? You knew, this is what I've been saying. I was like, I'm like, you know, respect people's space. You okay? Yeah, granted, it might be empty for a minute, but you see somebody you probably seen. I'm quite sure y'all seen people moving in. You see people, me and him carrying shit in here. Oh, ding, ding, ding! Oh, somebody moved in. Let me move all our shit back to our side of the of utility space back there because somebody done moved in across the hall. Let me just move all our shit. No, I had to call the land. I had to call the company on them several times, and then I had to when I seen him. And ooh, because he didn't have a shirt on at the time. I was just standing there and I was just like, you know, and I saw him. And he was like, okay, I'll take care of it. First of all, don't ever come outside without a shirt on again. That's what just you need not, not, not to do. But anyway, H2B said that. He said, did you say something to the man next door? I said, I sure did. Why? He said, because the man had said something to him. He saw him. He said, H2B was coming through the now they finally moved all this shit. We can finally go out the back door. Because that was a fucking fire hazard. They had the whole black back door blocked for all of their shit. So now we can go out the back door. If we choose to. He said he was coming out. Thumbing, thumbing through, coming through the back door. Carrying some stuff. And he saw the guy. The guy said, hey, is that your, you know, your girl, your woman, your wife, whatever. He's like, yeah. 
why? And he told him, I said something to him. Okay, yeah. And he was like, well, I was just trying to make a divider, you know, in the, in the closet. I don't know if she's seen that. She just probably seen a bunch of stuff, so I understand she was upset. But I was just trying to make a divider in the closet, in the utility thing back there where our furnaces are. So, you, you know, it wouldn't be any confusion. No confusion was, y'all shouldn't have had all y'all shit over there in the first place. Y'all had stuff in that whole hallway back there. You couldn't even get out the fucking back door. That's the fire hazard alone. You are not supposed to block an exit of a door. Duh. Daily up. I'm telling you. All night. Loud arguing. Blasting music. And I don't see them come outside. So y'all be in the house every day, all day. Doing what? Now, now they quiet. They probably sleep. Because they be up all damn night. People like myself, it should be. I'm sorry, we working folks. We be tired. I know I be tired. When I be having to close, I be tired. Coming in here like last night, I had to close at work. I was tired. The time I got in here, got my bath, I didn't was to, to get settled and I didn't eat. It was 11 o'clock at night. It was about, yeah, it was 11 when I was eating. And I don't like to even eat that late. Not heavy meals, but I was hungry. I ate at work, of course. And then by me working the uh, one to a one to um a one to nine so i was hungry i'm not gonna not starve myself because i don't want to eat and then go to sleep and gain weight which i don't want to i don't like even eating heavy like that at night at all I, if i snack it's you know maybe some peanuts or some popcorn y'all know i love popcorn i try to snack a little bit more healthier i really haven't been lately lately i've been there up eating Candy and shit. I just the fuck have. I've just been eating candy up, snacking on video honeys every night, eating caramel and shit. And I don't know, I'm no, I'm, I'm regretting that shit because I've been picking up a little weight and I don't want to gain my weight back. So I did get up and work out today. Things like that. So I'm um, going to go to the market, get a few things, get back to taking my lunches on a regular basis. But I haven't even had time to go to the grocery store yet. We still been eating fast food. Like we've been at the room again or something. But it's okay because we are home and it's a beautiful feeling. It's just, I'm still in awe. I have new furniture. Uh, I have a new dining room set. I brought a new living room set, ends, tables, lamps. So I'm quite happy about that. And so things is progressing. I'm sitting back at my desk, y'all. I miss that. And stuff like that. So like I said, we still have a lot of stuff. We still have to get moved, mainly clothes at this point. A few of our little storage units, and we, we have to get those, and we still have our two dressers that we have to move. So we've been moving what we can, um, you know, in, in the car or whatever, you know, stuff like that. So, um, other than that, um, that's all. I just want to shine in. I just want to let you know things are going well, and I'm loving my new place despite what just happened. But like I said, we good now. And like I said, it should be moved fast. When that package wasn't there, all I know is I came home and it's now two cameras. One in the back and one in the front. And now we about to have this, our doorbell. So, okay. I just felt like when you took that shit, you knew it wasn't yours. I just, that's, that's why I be like when I be watching them videos, I be wishing them people get caught catch them when they be taking the shot on people's porch. People work hard for their shit. And you just gonna ride, take it upon yourself to ride around neighborhoods, stealing people's shit off their fucking porch. Somebody gonna catch one, and you gonna catch one, stealing somebody's shit. Then your family gonna be in the news talking about, oh, it wasn't like that. Yes, the fuck it was. They literally ride around neighborhoods, stealing people's shit. Especially not the holidays when they start rolling around again. They, it was really bad during the holidays. Somebody going to catch y'all asses one day. And y'all going to catch a nice hot one or a good beat down. And I'm going to be sitting there like, mm-hmm, that's what the fuck you get. Keep your grimy hands to yourself and get a fucking job like I do. Get a fucking job. Quit stealing people's shit. Do something better with yourself. Shit. The hell? I don't know, it's hurting already, that workout. Alright, but I just want to chime in, let y'all update with y'all with that. And I will chime in again later on this in the new week. So you all have a blessed
blessed and prosperous day. Have a blessed and prosperous new week. It is now August. And this this year is going to be out of here. It's eight months already. It's now August, y'all. My birthday finna be here next month. Can y'all believe that shit? So I'm finna um, put my days in. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to do that weekend or take some days off during the week. I'm trying to see how I'm going to do it. Either way, I want to get some days off. So for my birthday. So it is what it is. So that's just my two cents. And you all have a blessed and prosperous day. Peace.